Well, welcome to another week of lessons in math grade 2. We're doing lesson 66 today. Now, this week of lessons is going to be kind of different. Uh, we're basing it on our book lesson 50, which is a review lesson of all the work we've been doing so far in addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So what we're going to be doing this week is going to be practicing doing adding and subtracting and multiplying. And let's work on the first one that shows us how we're going to do this, adding, subtracting, and multiplying. We're going to get some review in all three of these areas. So what we're going to do first is let's look at the first problem that we have, which is, now listen, I'll read it through, and then I'll put it on the board, and we'll talk about how to work it out. Now the first problem is, how many are 2 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 3? Whoa, that sounds pretty complicated. That sounds hard to do. Well, it's not really. I'll show you how we can work it out and break it up into some easy steps, and then it won't seem so hard. How many are 2 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 3? Well, let's put that up on the board. So how many are 2 and 5? Well, that's easy. Less 4. That doesn't sound hard. Multiplied by 3. That doesn't sound hard. And we're not going to do them all at the same time. We're going to take these one step at a time, so watch. So the first part of this is how many are 2 and 5? Well, that's easy. How many are 2 and 5? 7. Okay, and then less 4. What is 7 less 4? We're going to subtract 4 from 7. When we do that, we get what? We get 3. 7 less 4 or 3. Well, that's easy. And the last part of the problem is we're going to multiply by 3. So how many are 3 times 3? Well, that's not hard. 3 times 3 is 9, right? So that means... 2 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 3 are 9. That's the answer. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? So if we just break it down into some easy steps, it's not a hard problem at all. Here, let's try the next one and see how easy this one is. The next problem is how many are 3 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 2? So how many are 3 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 2. So, first thing we'll do is we're going to add 3 and 5. How many are 3 and 5? 3 and 5 are 8. And we're going to subtract 4 from 8. So how many are 8 less 4? 8 less 4 are 4. And then multiplied by 2. How many are 4 times 2? Actually, it's 2 times 4. Because we're multiplying 4 2 times. So, what is 2 times 4? 2 times 4, that's 8, isn't it? So, 3 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 2, the answer is 8. See? Not so hard, is it? Okay, let's do another one. Let's do 4 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 10. Hmm. So it's going to be 4 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 10. Okay, so we'll take this one step at a time. How many are 4 and 6? 4 and 6 are 10, and we're going to subtract 5 from 10. So how many are 10 less 5? 10 less 5 are 5. And how many are 5 10 times? 10 times 5 are 50. So that's the answer. So the answer to how many are 4 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 10 is 50. Okay, let's do another one. How many are 5 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 7? So how many are 5 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 7? So how many are 5 and 5? That's 10. I'm going to subtract 4 from 10. What is that? 10 less 4 are 6. And so 6 multiplied 7 times, what is that? 7 times 6 are 42. So 5 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 7 are 42. All right. Let's do another one. Let's do 6 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 7. So 6 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 7. How many are 6 and 5? 11. And if we subtract 4 from 11, how many are 11 less 4? 11 less 4 are 7. And then 7 multiplied 7 times, that's 49, isn't it? So 6 and 5 less 4 multiplied by 7 
are 49. All right, not so hard. How about, let's do seven and six less five multiplied by four. How many are seven and six less five multiplied by four? So seven and six are how many? Seven and six are 13 less five. 13 less 5 are 8. And 8 multiplied 4 times, what is that? That's 32. So the answer to 7 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 4, 32. Okay, let's do another one. Let's see, let's do 8 and 7 less 6 multiplied by 3. 8 and 7 less 6 multiplied by 3. So 8 and 7 are how many? 8 and 7 are 15, less 6. We subtract 6 from 15, we get what? We get 9. And 9 times 3, or rather 3 times 9, are 27. So 8 and 7 less 6 multiplied by 3 are 27. All right, let's do another. Let's do 2 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 4. So 2 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 4. How many are 2 and 6? That's 8. Less 5. 8 less 5. That leaves 3. And what's 3 4 times? 4 times 3 are 12. So 2 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 4. Are 12. See, that sounded kind of complicated at first, but you see how when we break it down into easy steps, it's not hard at all. Let's do another one. Let's do 3 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 7. So 3 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 7. How many are 3 and 6? 3 and 6 are 9. How many are 9 less 5? 9 less 5 are 4. And 4 multiplied 7 times, 7 times 4 are 28. So 3 and, five, 3 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 7 are 28. So the next one we want to do is this. How many are 4 and 7 less 6 multiplied by 5? So how many are 4 and 7 less 6 multiplied by 5? So we start out with adding. So we're going to do 4 and 7. How many are that? 4 and 7 are 11. Less 6. 11 less, less 6 are 5. And how many are 5 multiplied 5 times? 5 times 5 are 25. So 4 and 7 less 6 multiplied by 5 are 25. OK, let's do another. Let's do 5 and 7 less 6 multiplied by 8. So how many are 5 and 7 less 6 multiplied by 8? Well, 5 and 7 are how many? 5 and 7 are 12. And less 6, 12 less 6 are 6. And how many are 6 multiplied 8 times? 8 times 6 are 48. So 5 and 7 less 6 multiplied by 8 are 48. OK, let's just do a couple more. The next one is 6 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 2. So we're going to do 6 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 2. How many are 6 and 6? 12, OK. And then we're going to subtract 5. So 12 less 5 are 7. How many are 7 multiplied 2 times? 2 times 7 are 14. So 6 and 6 less 5 multiplied by 2 are 14. OK, let's go ahead and do another one. Let's do 7 and 7 less 6 multiplied by 8. So 7 and 7 less 6 multiplied by 8. So 7 and 7 are how many? 14. And 14 less 6 are 8. How many are 8 multiplied 8 times? 8 times 8, that's what? 
Uh, think back to your eights for your multiplication table. Eight times eight are 64. So seven and seven less six multiplied by eight are 64. Okay. Why don't we stop there before we continue because there are more of these problems and well, they're kind of interesting when you look at them. Like we're doing addition, subtraction, and multiplication all in one problem. How about that? And it's not hard once you break it down into its easy steps. And the answers aren't all that big either. We're not, not any bigger than the ones we've been dealing with so far. So we'll do some more of these tomorrow, and I'll actually show you. We'll go over some of these with some... Oh, I'll try to show you in pictures what this looks like in terms of what is being performed behind these numbers. Uh, I'll show you what these numbers are actually doing in terms of adding and subtracting and multiplying. So we'll do some of that tomorrow, and this is what we'll be doing this week is reviewing adding, subtracting, and multiplying, but doing them all together. So that will give us some good practice for the, the later parts of math that we'll be doing later on. Okay, then, that's all for today. You can play this back if you want to review this to get a better idea of what we're doing with our three operations together, adding, subtracting, and multiplying. Okay, well, we'll see you tomorrow.